an eventful Sunday in the case. We got seven games and lots of goals coming your way. My name is Andrea Sachinka, and you're watching Daily KHL Update. We'll begin our journey in Moscow, where Dynamo welcomed Torpedo, looking to bounce back after a 3 0 loss in Nizhny Novgorod four days ago. The blue and white open scoring late in the first. Hiroko Davez gets the puck from Eric O'Dell and snaps his first of the season from open nice. They double their lead early in the second. Igor Martinov shoots from mid range and Jordan Will gets a gentle touch on it. Their better cut into the lead meter for the period as the competitor power play. Captain Alexei Krachina scores his fifth of the year. Rookie Igor Vinagrada by Pakankanish got for the helpers. The Bucks bring it back to even just two minutes later with a shorty. We transition play across last week by Kurchinin and Sergei Gincharuk makes it a 2-2 hockey game. McDonough was still converted on the power play attempt. Vladislav Kadala puts it on net and Maxim Jashvila redirects a pass to one full buck off. They're better have a chance to tie it up again before the intermission, but this time around Ilya Kanavalov and his defenseman managed to hold the board. It stays a one-goal game right to the final minutes of regulation where Maxim Jashvili guides the biscuit over the line for his second of the night and that's so she wrote for this one. Jashvili enjoys his first career multi-goal game and Dynamo take it 4-2 on home ice. Next up on our road is Yekaterian Borg, Admiral challenge after Mabelist. The Sailors have been on a roll recently, winning 4 out of 5 and they strike first here. Alexander Shevchenko nets his first of the season. Second period right now, Alexander Lazoshin is a bit careless with the puck behind the net and he makes up for it with a nip to save. After Andalus throw one past him nonetheless a few minutes later, Brooks Macy converts on the two-man advantage for his 13th goal of the year. The game winner comes in the second as well. Nikola Yelisea finishes up the cross ice speed by Mikko Kristoff. Turns out that's all they're gonna need. Armel win the third in a row as they take it 2-1 on the road. And now to Kazin, where struggling Ogbars meet the rivals net to Kimek. The Wolves get off to a perfect start. Evgeny Kashnikov puts his team on the board less than two minutes in up a nice dish by rookie Andrei Belazarov. And a minute later, Anthony Kamara hits the twine to end the night for Timur Pilalov, who allows two goals on three shots. The Cats managed to even it up before the intermission. Chaos in front of Nitsuki McNatt and the puck finally goes in of Kirill Sunanov. And less than a minute later, rookie Nikita Yevsev finds loose puck in the scrum and sends it past Yaroslav Azalin. Tight game of 20. Ogbars grabbed the lead 8 minutes into the second. Slava Voinov turns the rush, gets the puck from Kirill Petrov and rocks it for his second of the season. The house tuck it away late in the third. Nikita Yevsev scores the second of the night and third of the season after another scrum and nifty teaming slot. And in the last minute of regulation, Nilo Safana puts a ball on it with a nice redirect. Onbar snapped their three game losing streak, but this is still just their second win in 11 outings. 5 2 is your final. We take it to Matishi now, where Kun Lone Ratstar defend the ice against Avangard. The Hawks get things started seven minutes into the opening period. Alexander Gorgachev hits the target from mid range. The Dragons tied up Hito for the frame. Parker Booth throws it to the slot and it goes in of Tyler Wan, who finally has his first goal of the season. The drought lasted for almost two months. Avangard retake the lead less than two minutes later. Give and go with Arseny Grutsuk and Sergei Talchinsky makes it 2-1 after 20. Red Star even it up again late in the second. Jack Rodewald extends his points streak to five games as he nets his seventh of the season. Third period now, former Oiler Anton Vilov gets the puck and open nice shoots from midpoint and beats Alexei Morrigan to make it 3-2. Avangard close it out with two empty netters. Ray Boucher and Vladimir Brooklyn get the tallies and the Hawks tie the season series at one as they beat Red Star 5-2 on the road. We're 
are back in Moscow now, where Sparta go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SKA St. Petersburg. This is a wild one. The scoring starts meter through the first. Quick pass to the slot by Demir Jafarov and Marat Kai Roland. That's his 14th of the season. The red and white level it less than two minutes later. Daniela Cardano plays give and go with Maxim Tiplakov and beats Dmitry Nikolaev on the stick side. Soon after that, St. Petersburg get a man advantage and Captain Dmitry Yashkin makes it count. Marat Kosnadinov and Stepan Polkowski with the helpers. Two minutes later, Alexander Nikishin finds his target with a shot from between the dots to say hi to his former team. Spartak bring you back to a one-goal differential early in the second. The Fox works to the far post and Matveza Sena stops it in. But as Kier restored the two-goal lead just a few shifts later, former Rangers peak Mikhail Pashtin enjoys his first of the year. Moscow don't let up though and tie it up with two late markers. First rookie Igor Savikov makes a long distance goal, connects with Batveza Sada and he scores his second of the night and seventh of the season. And then Savikov draws another assist as Ilya Talaluv beats Nikolaev on the glove side to make it 4-4 for 40. Spartak failed to build on it in the third and the ski eight take it in regulation. Smart pass by Vasily Glodov, Marat Kairolan's bid is denied, but Jakarov buries the rebound and it's 5-4. They secure the W with less than 3 minutes remaining on the clock. Evgeny Kanov celebrates his first of the season and that's that. SKA continued to roll over everyone this regular season. 6-4 is a final. Make our way down south now, where defending champs Red Army visit Sochi. It's not much of a contest though. Vitala Abrama puts the red and blue in the lead, middle for the first as it converts on a breakaway. Former Sharks forward Daniel Yortaikin doubles the lead in the following shift with a wraparound attempt. Vladislav Kamenev improves the lead to 3 0 late in the second frame as rookie Artem Dudat draws a helper. And then Red Army finish it off with three more and answer goals in the third. Andres with Lakov scores on a power play to make it 4 0. Then, then Maxim Mamin, who came back to Moscow from Florida this offseason, beats Maxim Tretek for the fifth time to finish up the tic tac toe play. And here is icing on the cake. Vladislav Kamenev scores his second of the night and ninth of the season. He comes short handed. Rookie net line of Sailor Skotnikov stops 26 shots for his first career KHL shutout on top of that. All systems go for it, Army has to take it 6 0 on the road. And there's just one more score left to tell you about. Truck to beat Amor 1 0 on home ice. Maxim Shabanov with the only tally. Ilya Proskurikov stopped 26 shots for his fourth shutout of the season. No goal in the K has more. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow for a game between Lokomotiv and Dynamo Minsk. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to check back with us this Monday.